This week we're talking about coats with belts. Firstly, I just need to clear something up. A coat with a belt is an entirely different thing from a belted coat. And today we're talking about coats with belts. Just bear with me, I promise you it's a totally different thing. A belted coat is like a trench coat and you have a coat and then you have a, a belt in the same material and it's sort of like a dressing gown in a way, the way the belt functions just to swish it around the middle. And it can be very cosy. Um, it's quite hard to get that look looking sharp because the uh, belt tends to kind of mudge into the rest of the shape of the coat um, unless you spend a lot of time sort of standing up very straight and um, pulling your tummy in which you don't really when you're standing at the bus stop. So a coat with a belt kind of defines the whole belt a little bit more and is just a bit of a slicker way of working the look I think. So I think it's something worth uh, differentiating between. Of course you can just put your normal coat and put a belt over the top. You see this is what I thought last time this trend was around I think about three years ago but that just actually doesn't work because you, you get dressed, you put your coat on, you put a belt over the top, you look fabulous, all great. You go out and obviously as soon as you take your coat off, you take the belt off and just leave it somewhere. You kind of have to have a coat that has the belt loops. Sorry, okay, so really tedious fashion lecture over. So I'm talking about a coat with belt loops with a different belt over the top. Um, this coat I'm wearing today is by a label called Carven, which is one of our fashion crush labels on the desk at the moment. This may now have actually gone to the top of my um, coats I want this winter list, unfortunately, which is quite a long list. Um, what's quite clever about this coat is the belt loops here are actually higher than your natural waist, um, which is just quite sort of obvious thing, but it's quite flattering because it makes you look like your waist is at a much higher point in your body than it really is. Um, there are lots of other versions that we've got here today. Um, it's a really popular look around this season. This one is Max & Co, which is one of the Max Mara diffusion lines, um, which are well worth shopping in because it's really good quality and um, really proper Italian styling. You're getting that. A Max Mara coat is obviously a classic, and this is the cheaper version. So here you've got like a grey tweed coat with a, a brown belt, which you can, if you want, just tie like that. You don't necessarily have to belt the whole thing if that feels a bit tedious. This coat here, this shape of coat, this kind of funnel neck, um, was big on the Celine catwalk this season, so you're seeing it a lot on the high street. It's a bit of a kind of 90s minimalism, Helmut Lang kind of shape. I seem to remember wearing this kind of coat a while ago. Um, but here with this kind of belt makes it feel a bit more grown up and um, not so sort of deliberately urban and um, blended to the background-ish. Here we have a coat by Jaeger, which absolutely gorgeous, just kind of teddy bear soft with lovely big kimono sleeves and a big old label that you can swoosh around your face to make you um, cosy if you don't, so don't even really need a scarf. Um, this is one of those coats that would look totally different with a belt in its own fabric. I think having the leather rather than just more wool there really does make it feel a bit more dressy. And again with this, this is a trench coat, this is a Tommy trench coat. Um, which you could obviously wear with, a, with uh, a normal trench coat belt, but this year they're doing it with a glossy belt, which just gives it a bit of a kind of punchier feel, I think. And then a high street version of the same idea here. This one is good value. I think this is about £180, this one, um, in a car key. And I think these colours just look really nice together as well, because that all over beige of a trench coat can make you look a little bit mushroomy. I think it's quite nice to have a bit of a bit of a um, different contrast at the waist. So there we have it. Coats over belts, not belted coats, don't forget. And most importantly, do not take the belt off and leave it in a cloakroom.